fucking time. What's up, YouTube? Aaron with Siegfried's Motorworks. Before we get into this episode of Behind the Bars, I wanted to point out one thing that I saw while I was editing this video that I didn't realize while I was riding it, and that's that the Genuine Scooter Company blurs come with this rose gold or bronze, whatever color this bar end and lever is. They come standard with that, and that's a pretty cool, subtle little feature. You'll see it really easily in the ride video. But another thing I want to hear from you guys in the comments on this video, because we've been trying out some different camera angles, specifically while we're riding this blur, I did a chest mount and I also did a helmet mount. It's pretty easy to tell which POV we're on because in one of the corners of the screen, I denote helmet mount or chest mount. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, which angle camera angle, I should say, you guys like the most. But as always, we would love it if you guys could help support our business and also our YouTube channel. And it's completely free. Like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and you can see all the notifications of what's going on here at Siegfried's Motorworks. But at any rate, we'll catch you guys next Wednesday. Enjoy this episode of Behind the Bars when we ride this Blur 220i. What's up YouTube, Aaron with Siegfried Motorworks. On this video right here today, I'm gonna be taking you guys out on this Genuine Scooter Company Blur 220i. So this is a 220cc fuel injected scooter. Now this is not a current model, this is a model that's been discontinued, but these are out there in the wild. So if you're in the market, this is a good video to watch. You can find out some information on these. As far as the specs to keep all the YouTube police happy, this thing makes 14.9 horsepower, 12.3 foot-pounds of torque, has 1.9 gallon fuel tank the 220 cc version comes in at 316 pounds seat height i didn't look up before the video i'll put it in the info on the side of the screen here either way let me just show you guys a couple of quick features on this and then we'll get out on the road here so in order to open the gas cap it's keyed it's on there nice center gas cap there with like a brushed finish on it as far as underneath the seat on this one. Lots of paperwork underneath here. That I will give to like all the paperwork underneath here. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna give this stuff to Kyle quick. Decent size underseat storage. Not the biggest thing in the world. Nice thing is it does have a light in there, so if it's nighttime, you can actually see what's going on. But Ooh, maybe let's, let's get out and show you guys what this one's all about we'll give it a second here to make itself warmed up a little bit high beam indicator there turn signal indicator there both left and right share the same one four-way indicator there I wonder what this button does Nice horn. Either way, let's get this one going. So this is again the second generation of the Blur. The first generation was started as a 150cc carbureted model. They ran that in for two years. Uh, I forget what the years were. I believe it was 07 was when they ran that 150. It took a couple years off and then they brought out the 220i, which is a fuel injected 220cc scooter. Those came out in 2010 and they ran them all the way to 2016. All right, and as we get ready to head out and hit the open road here, I'd really like to go to the left. We always go to the right. And today I'd like to go to the left, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't want to sit here forever either. It's like brutal cold out today. So if we can make it out to the left here after this black car And we should oh. All right so as we get started on this test ride of this 2011 Genuine Scooter Company Blur, let's just reiterate a couple things. 
The biggest of them being 2010 to 2016 is when this scooter was produced from. The 2010 to 2016 is actually the second gen. First gen of these ran for two years. They were the Blur 150s. They were carbureted, same body, little bit smaller motor, and obviously carbureted instead of fuel injection. Big things with the Blur that are gonna make you wanna buy one. Fuel injection is the first thing. Bigger CC. So this is definitely one of the bigger CC scooters that Genuine's ever offered, being that it is a 220 CC scooter. Fuel injection, again, that's the big thing, the big thing, the big thing, the big thing. The big thing is fuel injection. Especially coming from a place like Pennsylvania where we only get six months of riding a year, having fuel injection, not worrying about your car gumming up or things like that, that's a pretty killer feature. As far as when you're riding down the road on this thing, myself personally, I'm six foot, like one, two, three, whatever you want to call it today. And they aren't, I, I couldn't ride this thing forever, truthfully. Uh, I don't want to lie to you. I couldn't ride this thing forever. The floorboard, like I'm maxed out. Like it's where my foot is there and there, that's it. Also too, it doesn't have a step through floorboard. It has a step over floorboard. It takes away from what's a scoop. But it gives it a little more sport look for sure. I do like the gauge clusters. You get this nice big tachometer. I like the gauge cluster. The only thing I don't like about this is you can tell it's an older digital cluster because if you watch, it takes a second for it to catch up. And these jump. Like especially too, like here, if we go around this turn, and if you watch this phenomenon, I'm gonna like panic break. Like it's, oh, now it'll all of a sudden be like, oh, hey, it catches up. So that's old technology. It doesn't matter whether you're on a genuine scooter company or an old, even like a, older sport bikes they're still going to be off like that in the older digital tax that's why a lot of people didn't like them when they first came out other than that not a whole lot going on here you do have a check engine light in here and then we went over all the other stuff there rideability wise i should say this if you're watching this video and it's not just randomly showing up on youtube it's because you're researching blurs before you buy one you're going to read a lot of stuff that's going to say about how great the suspension is how great the brakes are and the handling and you're gonna see a con about the speed. Yeah, I mean, for sure, there's definitely faster scooters out there. And even today, you're gonna to find in the scooter market, like, there's gonna be faster alternatives and smaller CCs, but that's truthfully, it's with anything. Sport bikes even. If you look at a 600cc sport bike from 2011, thing's gonna get roasted by a 600cc sport bike that's a 2022. It's just the technology's advancing so fast right now in the, the speed and performance market, so. Don't take the speed thing to heart on these. These things have plenty of pep. Uh, top speed on the blur that we've had this one too would be 68 miles an hour. And now that's just in like a general riding condition. That's not out on the highway with you know optimal conditions. So I would say your general riding conditions, you're gonna see about 68 miles per hour on the top speed of this. Fuel mileage, they say about 80 miles per gallon. I, I've never ridden one long enough to know. This is only the second or third blur we've ever had in at Siegfried's Motor Works. So these came out prior to us being a genuine scooter dealer. So I never had the opportunity to sell these new. So I don't, haven't spent a ton of time on them other than the first one, I didn't even get a test ride video when it came and left so fast. This one is gonna get listed on our website tomorrow. So I had to get a ride video on it today, even though it is like super ridiculously cold outside. Uh, but anyways, so again, you ride online, now you're watching the video and you want to know how accurate the stuff is. So specifically, ugh, specifically, 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 specifically the suspension. So this utilizes a six link rock shock. And a rock shock is because instead of the shock being in the back, the shock's actually right underneath you. Um, you can actually see it from the side of the scooter right there. And it uses a six link system instead of like most of your scooters, like specifically in the genuine lineup, like the buddies, they just use like a single shock with a no linkage. It just hooks straight into the tail and straight into the motor. And that's where you get your suspension out of. Actually, let's go to the right so we can actually get out of here and we'll just flip a Yui down the line so a uh, little way different test ride path today I guess <laughs> there must be a reason that we make all rights instead of all lefts either way uh, what are you going to do
flip a little U-turn right here. Wide open throttle from a little bit of a roll, but this is just going to show you how quickly this thing gets up and goes. And that's what I don't really get. Like, this is a peppy scooter. I mean, you got to understand, it's only a 220cc. I mean, sure, if you're going to compare this to, like, a Vespa 300, you know, of course the Vespa's going to smoke it. You're talking 80 cc's on a scooter, Mike. I mean, like, 30 cc's on a scooter is a big deal, much less 80 cc's. So, yeah, I mean, you're getting what you pay for. And in my opinion, a 220i is a pretty decent scooter. Made by PGO. PGO's out of Taiwan. PGO makes the Buddies, and the Buddies have been absolutely fantastic. So as far as reliability, I would say this thing's great. Actually, we posted a picture of this on our Instagram, and shout out Sportique Scooters out in Denver. They're another one of the more active, uh, genuine scooter company dealerships. On uh, I don't know if they do YouTube. If they do, shout out y'all on YouTube. But either way, they reached out when we posted a picture of this and said that the one guy that works there had a blur and he had 40,000 miles on it. All he replaced was brakes and oil. I think that he, and, and something with the exhaust. I think he replaced like exhaust hanger or something like that, but he said nothing else. Body held up great, so you know, 40,000 miles on that one. And I have heard online of other people, like these, there are high mileage examples of these out there. It wouldn't surprise me if wherever you are in the country, you're looking for blurs on like Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist, or like, I don't know if Bike Trader or whatever, Cycle Trader, that ripoff site has them or not. But you're going to find, uh, hold on, let me get my thoughts here together. Because there's not a ton of them out there, you can generally find them that there's only one or two for sale. Now, sometimes, like, I've seen these things posted for upwards of, like, three grand. I've seen them as cheap as a thousand bucks. Like, this one specifically, I feel like a fair price for a 2011 Genuine Scooter Company Boyer low mile example 1200 and some miles on it i feel like the fair price for this thing is about two thousand uh, dollars and that's generally like the last two that we had that's what we sold those for and that's what i would expect this one to sell for as well another thing i, th I, did, I missed on the gauge cluster there is it does have a fuel gauge up here and a clock that's a pretty big deal i know a lot of people like the clock the fuel gauge is the most important it's the one thing with scooters especially if you're a newer rider for scooters that you don't see on a ton of scooters is sometimes they forget to put a fuel gauge and they just put a fuel light. Yamaha is really good at doing that. Just that fuel light on a lot of their stuff. So that's another really cool feature that I'm a big fan of. But either way, as we come in here and wrap this test ride up, my overall consensus of the blur, if you're like anything taller than five foot ten, I think you're gonna be uncomfortable on it. A highway peg might do something for you, but nobody makes it and we are really the only company that does that right now and we don't have any plans on making it for this so uh i don't know that there's really an option the seating kind of stinks too because it's shoving you like don't get me wrong this is the easiest way to say it's about the scooter if i only had to ride the scooter across town like the, to buzz across town to get parts or if i had like a couple minute ride to work and i was truly using this as a money saving tool the uh the blur is great if i was using this thing to actually use it like in driving any kind of real distances like i know we deal with the three mile island scooter club a lot and those guys are going to rallies where they're driving like five six seven hours in one direction on a scooter this isn't the one for you it's too uncomfortable uh if you're five foot ten if you're a shorter rider this thing's going to be great you're not going to have any issues at all uh, let me just show you a couple things here as we get off before we end up. Headlights, it's got this nice devil eye headlight there. These are dummy lights. These can be hooked up, but these are the ones that are actually hooked up, but you can hook these up on there as well. Another feature I do like about it is these from the tail section is it has this nice, like you see this on a lot of Ducati, Aprilia, so it has that nice expensive looking rear guard. But other than that, let me get a good side shot of it here. Um, actually, I should go over here. Right there, let me just make sure I'm looking. Right there, you can see that shock in there with that six link setup. So, overall, I mean, you can definitely see this is a really sporty scooter. Again, I agree with everybody online. Nice handling, big brakes. Could be faster, but it could also be bigger CCs. That's about what I expected 220 to run like. Uh, another feature I like about the blurs, too, just before we go, is these uh, gold wheels. All of them have these gold wheels. 
the white looks really good with the gold wheels and so does the gunmetal gray as always thank you so much for watching if you can leave a comment let us know what you think of this blur 220i tried two different angles on the camera in this one as well let us know what you think of those views in addition to that hit the subscribe button stay up to date with everything going on here hit the bell all the fun stuff on youtube support the channel it's free and at the end of the day we will see you guys next wednesday thanks have a good one bye